Hi folks, uh, welcome to my painting bench and I'm going to be painting this little uh, dog head that I made, this little dog ornament. Here it is and he's all dried up and ready to paint. He's been baked and I baked it at 200 degrees for about two minutes, two, three minutes. That was enough to uh, really harden that clay. And then I leave it in the oven for a while as it cools. Uh, leave it for an additional five minutes or so. So that it really hardens. So right now I'm just going to do a base coat of light tan. Um, this is a Chihuini head. It's a mix between Datsun and Chihuahua. Interesting mix of breed. So I'm just going to give this a base coat of the tan, okay, and these are very simple ornaments. Um, I give these away as gifts to my clients. I uh, also make these for craft shows, you know, they're, they're simple pieces, and one of the nice things is that this kind of craft, well, it allows me to practice my dog heads. Um, you know, it gives me more practice with the heads. Um, the head is where all the personality of the dog is, right? So, really want to get that right in a sculpture. So, this is a nice way to, uh, to do that, to practice. Now, uh, the background, I'm not worried about yet. So, it doesn't matter if I get paint on it right now. I just want to coat the head of the dog completely with the tan and I'll worry about the background later okay so there it is all right it's nice and covered with tan and I'm gonna let that dry once it dries I'll give it an ink wash so that all those details will pop out and then we'll do another highlight of a lighter tan and that will pretty much complete the piece, you know, do the eyes and the nose and everything else. But for now, I'm just doing the base coat. And here is uh, another dog that I just finished. This is a Bichon. And I just mounted it on its base and I put uh, the colored sawdust, what we call flock. Okay, and so there he is. This one's all finished, almost ready to be delivered to my client so I'll be back folks with the next step for this little dog head okay so the uh, first highlight is still a little bit wet and that's okay I'm gonna do a little bit of blending here so I'm gonna start to bring in some of these yellows You know, and sometimes I'll go back and actually do another wash if I felt it necessary. Uh, I don't think it'll be necessary at, for this figure, but we'll see. Kind of bring back a little bit of that yellow. And if it's too yellow, I could always do a wash to bring the color back down to a, kind of a brownish. Um, another thing I do is I actually uh, mix the colors a little bit while they're wet. So I'll add a little bit of tan to this to kind of bring that yellow down a little bit so it's not too, too yellow. Alright, so uh, it is a little bit yellow. I'm going to bring it down a little bit with some tan. I'm going to do a little mixing here. <sighs> to get that color back. 
you know, to the nice kind of golden tan that I want. All right. Okay, so let me let this focus. Here I switched to a uh, thinner brush, and this is a more of a detail brush, and I'm going to do the nose, and I'm using a glossy black. Okay. All right, so I'm going to leave it at that. And now I'm going to do the. So the next thing I did is I took some of this uh, dark tone ink. This is again from Army Painter. Uh, this is a shading ink, a quick shade ink. And I just darkened a little bit around the eyes. Right, um, just kind of get a little bit around the eyes to really highlight those eyes. I darkened around the e in the interior of the ears, and also around the mouth. I really wanted to make sure that the mouth area was darkened. Right, give it that nice dark tone. So. Uh, that helps a lot. These shading inks are really great, and you learn how to use them. You know, you could really do some cool effects with them. Uh, so I'm just darkening up the mouth, darkening up around the eyes, and that's going to help a lot with the detail. Okay. All right, folks, this is just about finished.